in here in Pretoria CBD has become quite lively uh, over the last hour or so buses have been streaming in to the park here opposite the Burgess uh, Park Hotel in the Pretoria CBD this is where ANC supporters have been congregating and uh, they have been in good spirits uh, as they prepare to embark on their anti-racism march towards the union buildings uh, there are ANC members right from across all social spheres uh, right across from all age groups we've got the Women's League represented we We've got the ANC MK MVA represented. We've got the ANC Youth League represented. So it's right across the spectrum. And I'm joined by a few of those who are here to support the march. Uh, ladies, can you tell me uh, why you felt it was important to come out and what's the message you want to take through to the union buildings? Uh, as a young woman in South Africa, we are here to support the ruling party in this march where we say we want to see a South Africa, a united South Africa, non-racial and non-sexism democratic South Africa, where all people who are staying in South Africa will understand that we are all South African irrespective of our colors. So what we are saying is that, is that uh, let's stand together, let's be united against uh, racism. Thank you very much. And we also have uh, some high profile uh, celebrities who have decided to come and show their support in amongst the crowd. Uh, I am spotted and I am joined now by a renowned South African comedian, funny man, Mr. David Gao. Uh, why was it important for you to be present here at the march? Uh, to me it's important first of all to support South Africa. Uh, as an artist, uh, I appreciate the support that the South African government has always tried to accord artists in South Africa, especially from the Free State. As you can see, a lot of people here are from the Free State. So we are here because our Premier has made sure that the Free State is here in numbers to show that we have a non-racial uh, society and that, you know, uh, our president is a democratically elected president and for as long as he's the president and the ANC says the president, he deserves the, the respect that a president should uh, have in a country and in the society that he governs in. Right, uh, David, uh, you have got your own uh, very popular uh, comedy tour. It's called uh, the Blacks Only Comedy Blacks Tour. Only. Uh, it's also, you know, drawn a lot of uh, criticism. Yes. Uh, a bit ironic, don't you think, uh, to have a tour like that and then to support yes. a non-racialism march? Uh, and the irony is that the whole show is so that black comedians can have a platform should they want to perform in any other language other than English they have the right to do that. Mm. And for 12 years we've done that, we've sell out shows everywhere. We have another show on the 27th of February in Johannesburg. And we I think every comedian or every black comedian that people know in this country is because they've been on Black Song the Comedy Show. All right, we're going to have to it's a platform for comedians to, to make money from comedy uh, in any language that they choose to. All right, we, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, sure. David. If I can, I'll try to get one more view from one of the supporters. I mean, uh, there's a multitude of, of ladies from the Women's League. So, uh, Madam, why is it important for you to be part of this march? South Africa, a one. We are one nation. Demonstrate the The lady there just basically reiterating that uh, she is here to support the march because, uh, as South Africans, we are one united nation, in her words, and she wants to make sure that she puts through a message of unity. So that's the mood right here at uh, opposite the Burgess Ford Hotel at a park in the Pretoria CBD. Very lively. Uh, all around me, people are gathered in pockets. They are singing and uh, they are certainly very determined and excited and looking forward to beginning their march to the union buildings. With that, it's back to you in the studio, Elvis. That's a reporter there, Tumalim Mishlali, at the march. Now let's go to the union buildings for our other reporter, Aldrin Simpiwe. Is, uh, Aldrin, I guess at this point in time, there's no action as yet. Well, good morning, Elvis. Yes, just a couple of ANC supporters that have arrived here at the venue, as well as the vendors and those who are selling ANC regalia. But later on, we do expect the thousands of marchers to be gathering here at the union buildings where they'll be listening to Gweta Mantasha, who's expected also to um, give a short speech when the, the memorandum of demand is, handing o is handed over to an official from the presidency right here behind us at um, the union buildings. I do believe that Susan Shibanga, the minister in the presidency, will uh, receive the memorandum. Uh, President Zuma will not be present? 
Yes, we got uh, confirmation earlier this morning that uh, President Jacob Zuma won't be part of this march. We st it's still unclear why he wouldn't be part of the march, considering that he is the, pre the, the, the president of the ANC. However, though, as you just indicated now, that it seems as though that uh, minister in the presidency, or rather minister of a woman, Susan Shabang, will be the one accepting um, the memorandum of demand. So we, accept, we expect it to be quite a short program that will be taking place here. And remember that the ANC said that the basis of this march is really to highlight the conversation that the country should start having when it comes to um, issues of racism. And earlier this morning I was looking at a, a snap poll that uh, Minister Figile Mbalula ran on his Twitter account and he asked the question that um, South Africans should all come together and fight race, the demon of racism and um, the two answers there, the options for the respondents were absolutely yes or racism is not an issue. And those saying absolutely yes, about 85% of of those respondents which definitely indicates that this is a major issue in South Africa but I think quite worrisome is that you have that 15% that are saying that listen racism is not an issue and I guess those are the type of people that the ANC really want to be targeting and start having this conversation around racism and how do you kill the demon of racism. Aldrin Sampiwa, thank you so much for that report. We'll touch base a little bit later with you before we close the program to find out what is going on there but right now that